Hey guys, in my endeavor to try to take awesome pictures of the things I see around me, I've taken pictures of the solar eclipse, of the moon, of the Milky Way, of star trails. So the next logical evolution in my photography was to get a telescope. So I reached out to a friend of mine that I knew had a telescope. And I asked to borrow it, and he actually told me that he had not used it in four years, so I was welcome to it. So this is it. It's a Mead telescope um, that's no longer in production. It's got a electronic go-to uh, alt azimuth mount on it. But I quickly realized after I got the, the uh, T-ring and hooked the camera to it that the optical quality of this telescope was pretty poor. So that led me to seek out another telescope. And that's how I end up with this. This is the Mead Polaris. 127 millimeter reflector telescope with a mechanical uh, German equatorial mount. After we got this, we realized that the optical quality was much better. But the only problem was that with it being a manual mount, it had no tracking on it. And this, just like the other telescope, is of the Jones Bird design. Uh, if you don't know what Jones Bird is, uh, there's plenty of articles online. You can just Google it. What that simply means is that this telescope, like the other one, is advertised as a thousand millimeter focal length, when in fact the tube isn't a thousand millimeters long. And what they've done is in the focus system, there is a Barlow lens or a two times magnifier that increases the focal length of the telescope. Now, in my experience in photography, I've realized that there's no free lunch when it comes to optics. So if you stretch a focal length by magnifying it, you lose a lot of quality in the imaging. So after doing some more research on telescopes, it, it seemed that to get the image quality that we were after was going to require that we get a, about an eight inch reflector telescope. So we got on B&H Photo, which is where I've got a lot of my photography equipment, and ordered this. This is the Celestron Advanced VX eight inch Newtonian telescope. It just came in the mail, so we're gonna unbox it today. It's packed quite well um, to deter the abuse that comes with uh, shipping through FedEx or UPS. Uh, it comes in three boxes. This one contains the optical tube assembly or the telescope itself. The larger, heavier box is the tripod and the equatorial mount. And then the smaller box that has the counterweight in it. Included in the box with the OTA is the 9x50 finder scope, the finder scope mount, the 2 inch eyepiece adapter, along with a 20 millimeter colossal eyepiece. Uh, also in that box is a instruction manual. The second box contains the tripod, the eyepiece tray and leg stabilizer, the advanced VX German equatorial mount, counterweight bar, a total of two counterweights, one in the box with the mount, another in a separate box, the azimuth adjustment screws, the hand controller holder, and the Nexstar Plus hand controller. Also included is the cable to connect the deck motor, 12 volt power cable for powering the mount from a cigarette lighter outlet, a set of tools, and another instruction manual. So with the installation of the finder scope, that pretty much completes the unboxing of the Advanced VX 8-inch uh, Newtonian Refractor Telescope from Celestron. Now if the skies clear up, we might get to use it tonight. Check out our next video to see how this thing does. <laughs>